How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with uh, a few of the verbs, they call it, from, uh, from Dplyr. So we have the verbs. The, I'm going to cover each of these verbs in a different video. So the one I'm going to do in this one is the uh, select verb, I guess you could call it. Um, and you can see the, the five main verbs for, for Dplyr there. So we have select, which is going to choose which column you want to keep, filter, filters out the rows by a certain condition. If you've ever done SQL, it's kind of like a where clause type thing. Um, arrange, which just reorders our rows for us. Mutate, adds a new column. Summarize, summarizes the column. And so we'll go through each of these and see what they do. And, and honestly, this tool is really, really cool. And once you get to know it, you, you can't go back to doing this stuff in, in just the native R. So um, you can do this one of two ways. The library, you can either load the library dplyr uh, or you could do tidyverse. Uh, the nice thing with tidyverse is it has all the different packages that uh, that are really super helpful. So dplyr and ggplot, if you've ever done any of the plots on there, and tidyr and uh, just tons of them. So I prefer to do the tidyverse here. Uh, so for the select statement, what you do is you say select, um, and we'll just do the iris data set that should be already loaded in your R right there. Uh, so you do your data set and then you say, what columns do I want? So um, if I remember right, there's like a sepal dot width, right? So if you do that, then we're just gonna keep uh, one here. I think I'm gonna save this as a tibble, they call it. Um, but then when you do these kind of statements, it prints out really, really short and easily. So this tibble is, it's really, really similar to a data frame, but it's, it's dplyr's version of a, of a data frame. So uh, one of the nice things is when you print it in the console, it's, it only shows like 10 instead of all 150, right? So that's pretty neat. Uh, so you can select however many you want, right? So you could do, I want sepal width, I want sepal length, right? And that'll give you those. Or I want those, and I want, um, what's the one, species, right? So you can just select however many that you want out of that. Um, you could also, if you don't want to do all of them, you could say, which one do I not want, right? So which one am I not interested in? And that's just going to be a negative. So negative sepal dot width, right? So this one here is going to give us everything in the iris data set except for sepal width. Right, so we have these other four, other four variables down there. Uh, so really, very pretty neat tool. Um, you can also do more. Uh, so minus species, right? So you just have to make sure to do a, a minus sign there in front of each of those um, if, you, if you don't want to include those in there. Um, another nice thing, you don't have to do any quotes here, right? You notice there's no quotes around anything. Uh, again, you just do your data set here, what you want or what you don't want here, and then it's going to select those columns for you. Um, so that's, that's about it with the select statement. Uh, if this video was helpful for you, make sure to press that like button down there and subscribe if you want to see more incredible R videos. Um, and if you want to see that next verb filter, click on the link right there. Thanks. Have a good day.